Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Senior, and we are back with what very well may be the final installment of this Craw, the Tengu Summoner series. I'm not sure, we'll see how things go. I mean, I can record indefinitely now, and I'm thinking, well, either we've just got one room to go, and then we have to go to Zot 5, and that's it, so that'll be a video, or we go down to Cock 7 and we perish ignominiously. Either way, it's the end of the series. So yeah, I mean, as you well know by now, I'm terrified of this. Hopefully, it's just my imagination, but, um... Let me just make sure that this is recording properly. Seems to be. Yeah, we've been getting some random hell curses here. That's fine, like, our staff of air was cursed, wasn't it? Yeah, so it is. So there's a ring of teleportation, that's pretty annoying. But we've got some remove curse on hand, so whatever. It's not like we're using our, uh staff of air at all, or anything, or any of our spells. Honestly, it's mostly just for vanity. Seriously, I mean, we, we use the bare minimum of what we have, so maybe that's just my fault as a player. We could be having an easier time if we uh, used our resources a little bit better. Anyway, enough about that. Not putting ourselves down. We are got to get ourselves pumped up and go down and retrieve this final rune. So, uh, let's just find the stairs. That's the first order of business. Being able to fly here is super nice. I know I said it was nice in Gehenna as well, but not even as nice as here, probably. Alright, so this is it. And let me remind you <laughs> that there may be one to two firestorming ghosts down here, level 27 ghosts, who perish before me. And that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm really scared right now. So I'm not afraid to admit that I'm scared. I mean, seriously, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with telling you that we may very well die right now, and I'm terrified of that fact. But here we go. Alright, a bunch of threes to start things off. Let's go ahead and read that remove curse. Whoops. <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. I meant to re read um, magic mapping. I'm not sure why I thought and did remove curse. Probably because we were just talking about it. And because I'm so preoccupied with fear. Looks like we got some sort of crazy octagon zone. That's fine. I guess we can't just dig through this stone wall. No. So what's the correct way to get through? Is there a particular way in? around the outside, then through there. Is that really the only way in? Are they really going to make us do this? And then through there. And then that's that. I'm sure Anteus is working somewhere in here. We're going to do our best not to um, actually face Anteus. We're going to just try to nab the rune, possibly with apportation, and get out of there if possible. That is absolutely the preferred plan. If we have to fight Antaeus, we'd rather let Hasted Angels do it. As soon as we get close to the middle, we're going to get an Angel Force up. No doubt. Also, let's put on our O for now. I realize I wasn't wearing that. That at least gets our EV up past 30. You know, I mean, the Dexterity boost is kind of nice. Okay, here's a bunch of Jokers, but we can handle these Jokers. Jokers are plenty. That's what hell is full of, of course. All jokers go to hell. It's an established fact. <laughs> so we have to be super serious. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Oh, so that's the troll berserker ghost. That's not the ghost I was expecting to see. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, so I guess there could have been three ghosts here. That is a legendary troll berserker of the Shining One. Uh, yeah. So, that's the other character I had. He had nine runes. He died down here. Alright, that's not who I was expecting to see, but that actually makes me feel not too good, actually. <laughs> um... Probably fast. Let's back away here. 
but we're gonna back towards the exit. Let's get up some angels. We're fast. I mean, we can fly, so we're pretty quick. Let's get an angel. I feel like he's my bloody. Are you kidding? And again, two Davas. Strikes me in flight. That's nasty, but it's not worth worrying about. Haste you, because you're now fast, right? You're the fast one. Yep. So let's get the other one. There. All right. So that would be great. How many more of these angels can I get? Is there a limit? I'm willing to go for three. Okay, fine. Three is plenty. Friendly summoned Halo. This one's moving very quickly, moving very quickly. Alright. So yeah, all three of these guys need to go. Very good. Alright, this works, I guess. Okay, now take out that stupid troll. Like, what's your deal? Immunity from resistance? It doesn't have any electricity resistance. If this fails, we'll try, like, throwing up a tornado or something. I mean, we're, we're slowly, slowly backing towards the exit anyway. Let's throw up a... Where can this get a line of sight? Here. Works. Let's throw up uh, one right here. Wizard even dies. Good. Focus on the troll, you guys, right? Elemental over here. Alright, this guy's getting hurt. Legendary Troll Berserker of the Shining One. And I mean, the true irony is that he ended up as a ghost. And vulnerable to uh, his own holy wrath. That's pretty tragic. That's why we don't want to die down here. Because that is the ultimate irony for a follower of the, the Shining One. A particularly bitter death. <sighs> okay, so what do we do? Can we fight him in melee range? Should we just keep backing off for a second? Let's back off to here. Okay, let's try air striking him. No, we can't. Never mind. So, never mind. Let's continue to back away. Good. I'm just going to keep backing away as he, he gets smitten. Alright, of course, Hell is going to play games with us. Let's drop a lightning spire here. Back off a little bit. Let's see what happens if we try to melee this guy. He's distracted. Okay, he's in the pink. In the pink zone. Okay, good. Taking care of those hydras. I appreciate that. That guy, he, the reference ghost has got higher priorities than me, which is kind of funny. We're taking this guy out. Almost destroyed. We gotta take this guy out. Come on. Die, you stupid jerk. Yes, very well done. Alright, the Shining One's Divine Providence has taken out that uh that ghost there of his former worshipper and that means that these Davis are probably super blessed up let's eat a quick pizza to celebrate I would share with angels but I don't think angels require food right isn't that part of what being an angel is all about or do they <laughs> I remember there was something about that in Paradise Lost but I don't remember exactly what it was Something about angels and food. Maybe that was something else entirely and I just made that up. Ancient Lich over there is not pleasant. Take care of that Ancient Lich, would, would ya? In fact, we're going to go over and take care of that. Because he could summon fiends and uh, whatever else. So we need to take care of that. Pronto. Yeah, there we go. Not really a concern. And yeah, so I mean, the fact that we ran into that troll berserker ghost is kind of a good sign to me, because 
I think he was the one who died in this particular cock layout, cock seven layout, and uh, the other ones died in a different one that was more open and ocean like. So I may, it may be possible that um, that's the only ghost we have to face here, which would be really supreme. I mean, that ghost was tough enough. He didn't actually. Well, we're rotting. Okay. Do we have any curing? Yeah, let's cure out of that. Yeah. So now all I have to do is deal with is Anteus and his entourage. Nope. <laughs> Why do I even say stuff like this? Why do I even get my hopes up? So, of course, never mind. What I said before was completely false. And we also have to face our worst nightmare, which is our former Let's Play character. Tim the Pyromancer, a legendary demigod fire elementus. He knows firestorm, over destruction, haste, and blink. Very good spells, right? I think we ought to back off. What are your resistances like, Tim? You're resistant to fire steam, but not electricity. So we're going to throw up an electricals. We could get firestorms. We really need to take you out, Tim. Yes, alright, smite him. Smite him good. Oh no, diabolical laughter is also uh, rotting our flesh away. That's not fun. So let's get another elemental. Throw up some airstrikes. Oh no, the serpent of hell. <laughs> what did I tell you? This is Cock 7 is the true test of metal for a dungeon crawler. So what do we do? Throw up more um, summons? Get a real army? It's real vulnerable to firestorm. How about a forest? <laughs> How about a forest? Another, uh, elemental. Whoa, okay. We're getting rotted away. Please focus on Tim. We can deal with the, the with that later. I feel like, uh, airstrikes might be a good bet here. Or like a teleport. <laughs> what is that? Is that an orb of destruction? Oh no. Um, I guess what do we do about that? Can't blink. Thanks. I might block it. Yeah, man. This is awful. Okay. We're still good at health. Let's try to step down here. That hit me, and it hit me hard. Alright, you know what? Time to get out of here. Random teleport. I don't think there's any place in the world that's worse than this, except possibly right on top of Antaeus, which is a legitimate concern. There's like nothing good to do here. Don't have any holy word, naturally. Uh -huh. Let's look at in our inventory. What do we got? A bunch of potions of magic. We could just get our staff of air out. We could summon a few more angels. Okay, we're right up next to Tim's ghost. We got a chance to whack him. He could tr fire like um, orb of destructions at us, but I don't think he's gonna firestorm us at this range. He might, but I mean, let's see if we can get it with a good holy wrath hit right now. Down into the pink. 
Yeah, because I don't like that. Alright, yeah, it hit us, but it, not that badly. We need another angel. Okay, now we need to get out of here. We are electrocuted. What happens? Wait, did, does Tim have electrical attack? Yes. Tim had a dagger of electricity? I don't remember that. He had a quick blade of electricity? Oh no, I forgot about that. What about Holy Flames? Do you think that'll work right now? Cleansing Flames? Let's give it a try. That sort of works. I wonder how many more times we can do that. Five, so we can do it two more times. Let's try it a couple more times. Okay, and now we're getting our power back. This is working really well, I think. Let's just keep doing this. Cleansing flame. <laughs> Shining one, cleanse me. Pew! Kill that guy. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Almost dead. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, this is working so well. One last cleansing flame. Bam! Oh my god. Almost destroyed. Never mind, another one. Firestorm! Oh my god, that was a crazy thing to happen. This, oh, he killed the fire. He killed the serpent of hell. Tim killed the serpent of hell after he died. Well, that's like an accomplishment. My ice dragon dies. I had an ice dragon? Did I cast uh, Dragon's Call by accident? <laughs> Tim's ghost is destroyed. Tim's ghost destroyed himself. <laughs> oh, good show, good show. All right, that was uh, really exciting. Oh man, cleansing flame that worked so well. I gotta remember that, man. Next time I am worshiping the shining one and fighting a level 27 ghost and the serpent of hell at the same time. I gotta remember about cleansing flame. So yeah, I'm glad we found a way out of that. More, uh... Okay, well, here comes a thing. Can it reach us from here? I'm not sure. Step a little, a little bit away. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whew, rest up for a second. So that's uh, two ghosts down. I think we could only run into one more, theoretically, but I think it's relatively likely considering that another ghost killed Tim. So hopefully we don't. I thought that was a ghost. <laughs> I'm terrified of ghosts. The other one should be a little bit wimpier. With only... because it's a deep elf. I mean, Tim was a, um... a demigod with lots and lots of HP. I forgot about that quick blade of electrocution, too. That, that really, uh... Could throw me to a loop. I would have put on my staff of air, but my staff of air is cursed, and it's like, what else am I going to do? Flame strike? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, not flame strike, air strike? Flame strike, I've been playing too much Hearthstone. Okay. Good. So now we are, um, ready to go into the inner sanctum here. I'm tempted to explore around the outside, though, just a little bit. Just... oh. Well, okay. That's annoying. Just to clear it out. I mean, you can't really, like, clear out hell because it just keeps happening. But just in case there's, like, a level 27 ghost, like, just up here. I just want to make sure we don't attract his attention. Wandering Ice Fiend, that's no fun exactly, but... Yeah, torment, but okay. No. Yeah, alright, so we're fine. Eat a little bit of meat, and we'll come back down here. Alright, crazy. Hopefully there's not a ghost inside here, because that would really just make my life. <laughs> 
It would make my life a challenge, we'll put it that much. Ice Fiend. Alright, come on over here, Ice Fiend. Abomination. Okay. It's not exactly what I expected to see, but okay. Come around the corner, Mr. Ice Fiend. I, I challenge you to. Oh! Okay, that was a torment. Another Ice Fiend. Alright. Yeah, going to melee range with an Ice Fiend is not exactly the smartest idea, but we have demonstrated that we are capable of handling it with this character. Alright. So let's get up a couple angels right now. And haste them. Hopefully we can distract them long enough to just get in and um, get the rune and leave. Yeah, get them. Let me eat something while you're working. Alright, more time in this world, that's good. So, in here? Yes. Here's Anteus. Alright, so let me back off before he like hits me with a cone or something. What? There's so many ice fiends. We really can't be with so near so many ice fiends at once. Dang. I want to just support the rune and then get out of here. Mm, I wasn't expecting to see this many ice fiends. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I'd really just like to get out of range here though. We're gonna get like tormented several times. All right. My David died. Not surprising. Ice fiend over here. All right. I'm gonna teleport. I think we're definitely gonna put on our um, amulet. And now let's read the teleportation. Because now there's no place worse than we could be than here. And we've explored most of the rest of this place. Did we get frozen? Not sure. Okay. Where do we end up? Down here. Interesting. I'm kind of okay with this. All right, which uh, we, we could have just tried to be daring and going right in, but let's uh, get a couple angels. Yeah, we, we lost some sh some piety there. See if we can sneak in the back way now. Whoops. Okay. Alright, I don't like that. Take them out. Haste them, too. Okay. So all the ice fiends should be... up around that area. Anteus probably is gone, but he is probably... or Anteus is probably back on guard duty, is what I mean to say. But the ice fiends, I don't think, will. So I think we might be able to sneak back in this way. Hey, what was this made out of? Can we not get in this way? Crap. That's just a treasure room, probably. Hmm, I didn't think of that. That is a stone wall, yeah. Hmm. So never mind, scratch that plan. We're just going to have to sneak back over around this way. Ice Fiend Roller Oars. We should also haste ourselves now, obviously. Okay. Get him, obviously, you idiot. Take him out. What are you waiting for? And that one. Alright, yeah, it's not too bad when we fight him one at a time. It's just when they have the possibility to, uh... Oh, whoops! <laughs> I'm summoning dragons! I'm casting... Oh, I'm casting shadow creatures! That explains it. I pressed, uh, Z... I, I know, I see what happened here. Okay. That explains the mystery of the uh, friendly dragons. 
it wasn't Dragon's Call at all. Just good old shadow creatures. Alright. Let's go ahead and apport the rune. Actually, I don't think I can at this point. Oof, okay, never mind. I'm fast though, right? We're leaving, yeah. Let's see if we can play Ring Around the Rosie with Anteus here. Hey, oi, Antaeus! Whoops. Wasn't expecting to throw a lightning bolt at him. Alright, so our extra speed is starting to run out, so let's go around the corner here. Oh no, there's an ice fiend though. No. Okay. Yikes. Is Antaeus gone yet? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Let me take him out, please. Whoa. Yikes. Alright, let's heal up. And then really try to kill this guy quick. There we go. Okay, Shining One likes that. Let's get an Angel. I know, the Shining One. I'd be pissed at me, too. Really abusing my abilities here. Okay. So we're going to wait until the last second here. Antares is still after us, so here's the plan. We're going to haste ourselves just as so. We might get contaminated, but I'm kind of cool with that. Let's get ourselves over the land, and now we port the rune. Alright, so zap apportation on the rune. Yoink! Is right underneath us, right? Yes! Pick it up. So good. Alright, control teleport. Read teleportation. We are out of here. Nearest doors are all over there. Bam. Out of here. Yes! We did it. Let's read a vulnerability just to be sure. Alright, very good. I mean, we're going to quaff our cure mutation in a second anyway. Just because we should. Let's quaff out of this uh, rot. Recast of like missiles. Man, that was awesome, dude. That was so good. We got all the runes. 15 out of 15. That's pretty badass. So, uh, yeah, Shining One is slightly annoyed with us, but it's okay. We want to use our piety. It's better to use our piety than to die. And, I mean, certainly we ran into some real sticky situations in there. Yeah, I mean, that actual battle with Antaeus was fine. I mean, we were able to get out without too much peril, but that Serpent of Hell slash Tim Ghost combo was uh, among the most terrifying things I've seen in this game ever, so... <laughs> Not to mention the Troll Berserker Ghost that came before it, although he didn't end up being so bad, I guess. So we got it, we got the 15th rune, and quite an epic adventure it was. Now we are back out through hell, get out of hell, I mean, I'm done with hell. Two potions of commutation, let's take them both and we'll quaff one right now. Feel robust, yeah. We'll save the other one for Zot, there's more commutation, right? Yeah, there's another one, yeah, let's go and get it. Eat a slice of pizza to celebrate. That's the last of our pizza, unfortunately. We'll take our cure mutation here because it could come in handy. Anything else? I mean, we can put back on our O. We can do some other stuff. Do we have how much meat? Oh, let's get those rations. Whoops. There's a couple of things we left on the doorway to hell. And we just don't want to run out of food for the ascension or anything. Other than that, man, I think we're good. We're just on a roll. Let's go down to Zot and get out of here. Let's uncurse our stuff real quick. Put on E. Yep. Wield that. Read that. That. Put on that. As such. Very nice.
Okay, so our character is up to full, full, full tilt here, except possibly for the fact that the Shining One doesn't love us as much as he should. But oh well, you know he'll he'll get over himself. Maybe we'll kill a few more ancient witches in Zot Five, and then uh, he'll be happier with us. Or maybe not. Maybe he can just deal with it. I mean, really. <laughs> so anyway, down to Zot Five. We're gonna finish this off. I mean, this is this is the end. You know, and it's not unheard of to die in, um, let's go to Zot for you. Oh, you got Condor. It's not unheard of to die in Zot 5 or during the Ascension, so, I mean, we, we can't get cocky. It probably won't be as, as anything as, as challenging as what we faced just now. We hope not. It's possible Sarabov could come up. We didn't, we didn't fight Sarabov, so it's possible he might show his ugly face. But I'm not sure. Either way, we'll probably just run away from him again. Here we are in Zot 5. Do we bring a... Magic mapping? No, we didn't. That's okay. We don't need magic mapping. We basically know what Zot 5 looks like. It looks like a big, weird lungs. Hmm. Meat. That's pretty cool. Yes, alright. And, um... Whoa. Eggs. That's kind of weird. Let's just get right up to this cursed toe. Drag him upstairs. There we go. Nice. Mason flails up to 18. Yeah, let's take a look at our skills. So, Mason flails is unlikely to go up anymore. Summonings is unlikely to go up anymore. Spell casting, I guess, can improve. Our charms were done with, so... No. And uh, fighting, I guess. Yeah, sure. Stealth. Eh, well, I mean, we're sort of done with stealth. We don't need to be any stealthier <laughs> anymore. The orb of Zod is going to kill our stealth anyway, so. We didn't really want to be ostentatious with our stealth anyway. I mean, it's not really in the in the idiom of the Shining One. You know, we don't want to wander around like a klutz or anything, but also, we don't want to make a deliberate effort to be stealthy. That would be improper. So, heal back up. <laughs> I was thinking I was hitting hell for a second, and uh, I have to worry about that sort of nasty nonsense. But, fortunately, we're not in hell at all. So that's kind of crazy, ran into a cursed tail. Here's a ghost moth, let's throw up a couple of uh, these guys, even though I'm quite confident. We can take this guy. And let's just eat a couple of chocos just for chuckles. Kill Bone Dragon. You gotta appreciate that, the Shining One, huh? It would be really nice if we made it back up to six stars before the end of the game, just for uh, vanity purposes. Although, you know, of course, vanity is a sin. Maybe the Shining One is trying to teach us a lesson. He's trying to teach us that we had the magic inside ourselves all along. Or, no, that's still kind of vanity, so never mind. Here come the orb guardian, so I guess that's the way to the orb. What's your deal? Are you resistant? He's not resistant to much. Let's throw up an L and a couple of E's. Kind of like bash a little bit. I think we can just bash these guys. You know they're not unholy. I mean, nice, nice. Help us, old guy. Are these are those guys are uh, intelligent? <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed. A huge, glowing, four-limbed purple creature with heightened senses, created by the orb to watch over itself. Guards the orb with enormous punctiliousness and violence. So, um, yeah, I guess if it has heightened senses, it could very well be intelligent. I wouldn't have guessed, though. I wouldn't have guessed it was a sentient being. Even a Choco. There's a Golden Dragon. Yeah, let's, let's use some regular summons for a while. I mean, we've been using a lot of angels. That's why the Shining One is so upset with us. Plus, we went on sort of a uh, holy fire spree. Cleansing flame free spree, rather. Very nice. I guess I'm just casually auto-exploring through Zot 5. <laughs> well, we established that this bottom part is not the dangerous part. Yep, the Orb Guardians were pouring up through that way, so obviously that's where the chamber lies. 
down here is just uh, interesting, whatever. All right, up there. Hmm. Poison needles. Paralysis. No. Which way? I guess up this way. Yep. No, just get that one instead. Good. Okay. Dark trap. Golden dragon. Alright, we definitely want to pull these guys out. Did he not even see us? Come on. Get out of here. We're going to fight way out of here. I don't want to attract any jokers. Lightning Spire over here. Lightning Spire might not have been the best choice. It's possible. We would attract more people. I didn't ever establish how loud that thing was exactly, but I'm sure it's not exactly quiet. Ooh, that thing is pretty strong. Yeah, those orb guardians will get you. They don't seem like much, but... Whoa! What happened here? Uh, okay. Those black draconians probably just spawned. That's just that, that's just that. That, uh, ancient lich probably stepped on a trap up there. We're gonna go ahead and cast Tornado. This is definitely a Tornado moment. Yes, Tornado! Look at those clouds fly! Alright, so take out this ancient lich. Everybody's being blown around. That's awesome. Yes! This is great! <laughs> oh, I, I, made a, I made a promise to myself before I started this video that I would find at least one more way to work in Tornado because, as I was saying before, you know, I mean, a lot of these abilities that we have and inventory items are just for show, it seems. We never really used them very much. I think we cast Tornado. That was the second time we cast Tornado. But it was definitely a useful cast of Tornado. You can't deny that. I was like, man, do we have any way to remove these guys? And the answer is yes, man. Tornado. That was great. That was really fun. <laughs> and it blew those clouds around, too. i got to try with that some more. I would love to cast some clouds of my own. Cast a couple of freeze clouds and uh, poison clouds and maybe some conjure flames and just blow them all around. That sounds like a rocking good time for a cloud mage-style wizard. So maybe we got to do that some more. I mean... We never got into the conjuration so much, but we could. We could. Alright, so that was exciting. Storm Dragon. Not even gonna get out our staff there. That is annoying. That's an ancient lich. Alright, so come over here. We'll whack this guy to death. Now we're gonna get out our staff of air, and then we're gonna just get this guy with air strikes. I could just hit him. Let's uh, summon some guys. Come on. What the heck? This is annoying. Let's throw up a lightning spire. Hmm. Step here. Shadow creatures. There we go. Alright, now I'll get out. You know, that electric arm is distracted. I'll get back out my staff. Or my uh, evening star. Kill this guy for a minute. Okay. And that electric golem is alive. There it is. But not for long. Get back out the staff there and kill him. There we go. Nice. Take him out with an airstrike. Eat some draconian flesh, which has been tornadoed and therefore, uh, you know, pulverized to a nice tenderness. One imagines. Okay, we got a little bit more meat. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess we can continue to explore up this way. Old Guardian. We gotta drag, you know, we're doing this properly. Drag him out one at a time. Thought. What happens? Ancient Lich. Okay. Two Ancient Liches. Yikes. Okay. 
and a bunch of dudes. Okay, this is kind of nasty. You die. You should die. Yeah, sort of worried about that. Crystal Spear, yikes. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I was worried about that too. Die, you stupid bitch. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to swear like that. <laughs> Sorry. Is anyone watching at home? Ooh, this is nasty. Alright, heal up a little bit. Cleansing flame time? Could be, or it could just be whack the ancient witch time. Convulse. Die. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh no. <sighs> Man. This is humiliating. This is my uh, greatest shame. What are we going to do? Shining one, where were you? I mean, where were you, man? Teaching us a lesson against, about hubris, I guess, but I mean, I guess that extra point of star piety would have helped us. Are you serious, man? I've never died in Zot 5 before. So nasty. This is uh, really a complete damper for my night. But I guess life goes on, man. Oh, man, that's so unsatisfying. This is the worst. That's like the worst death I've ever had. This is even worse than those other deaths, because we had it. We had 15 runes. And I was playing stupid too. I mean, you know, I mean, charging those two ancient witches is a bad idea. I was just saying I should play it proper, drag them out one at a time. I thought with all those summons, I would be a more wise idea to get in and uh, take care of the source of the summons. You know, ancient witches are obviously a threat. So, a lot of things I could have done differently. Obviously, a very, very stupid death. And uh, I'm going to be beating myself up over this one for a while. And, of course, it's recorded on camera, so uh, you get to enjoy it, too. But you know what? It was fun. It, we had a really good time. It was, it was a great, great recording. At least we got this death recorded. Oh, man, such a stupid death. I can't believe it. I'm still going to be mad. All right, I'm, I'm sure you're sharing my frustration, or at least getting a sense of schadenfreude. <laughs> Either way, I, I don't know why you watch these videos, but either way, I hope that uh, you uh, are feeling a strong sense of emotion one way or the other. Shouting at the screen for me to, to go back, or uh, cackling with glee because I am suffering. Either way, I don't care. I have noticed that a number of you are, are following along with these videos. You know, I definitely get a number of people who are watching these videos consistently, so uh, thank you guys for watching. You now, it's all, you guys make it all worthwhile, you know? So we just got to brush this one off our shoulders, you know, pretend like this never happened. And uh, actually, we're going to go into point 15 in the next video. So, I mean, probably starting tomorrow. I mean, considering how enraged I am right now, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't start point 15 tonight. But I absolutely would like my redemption here. So we will go into point 15 and um, with a fresh new start and uh, worship a, a fresh new god who never existed before. Maybe we'll get lucky. But, man. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. And, uh, don't, don't attack ancient witches would be my recommendation. So let's take a look. Let's see how we see how the morgue looks. Yeah, we know all the great stuff we had. We know all the stuff we should have done. Fan Gales, Rod of Ignition, those things might have been helpful. Tenth place. Not bad. Better than uh, some of our other characters. 
It's our best dead character. It's our best character who didn't escape with the orb. Let's put it that way. So, yeah. I mean, had we escaped with the orb, we would have been sitting pretty. We probably would have been in second place if we had escaped with the orb. So, that's the game. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I really do. I'll probably be back tomorrow with a brand new character. So, uh... Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for the new character, and now's the time to let me know sometime between now and tomorrow night. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.